we're going to a different economy, and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly, we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're going. We're recovering, but to a different economy, and it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for for many workers. In Silicon Valley, and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. This effort, and China has big plans for this. They intend to seed um, their digital yuan into the global environment by giving it away to visitors at next winter's Olympics. When they arrive at the airport, they're going to get di yuan digital wallets. They're going to receive digital yuan. They're going to use it uh, throughout their visits to Beijing, and then they're going to take it back to their home countries. They see this as a huge advantage. Why? Because who controls the underlying protocols, who un controls the underlying standards of the future of money will control the future of money. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the crypto, crypto teacher. teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe. If you do like what you're listening to, please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order Book. The New World Order Book is going to show you how the world works. It is definitely time to wake up out of your sleep in the times that we're in right now. Plus, guys, we know we're waiting on that next main event towards the end of the year. We had the first quarter event. Like I told you, that would happen. Don't forget this is Shemitah year. And then also, I want to thank those who purchased the three kids' books. It's definitely time to re-educate. And also, those who donate to the Cash App Patreon, much love, keep it coming. Do not forget I have the New World Order cryptos in my Patreon. Do your own research, but going inside of a bear market you definitely want the cryptos that have real use cases. And much love to those who are shopping at both stores. Keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. And we had Bitcoin and cryptos take a dip this morning. Also, the actual stock market took a beating. And we saw yield rates rise off of CPI data. But look what's up now. The stock market and cryptos are making its way back. Like I had advised you, Thursday and Friday, we'll be moving up. We have four of the biggest U.S. banks reporting tomorrow. So Bitcoin, cryptos, and stocks, I see us moving up slightly. Even though in cryptos, guys, we have options. Most likely, we'll dip Friday night going into Saturday. But we had inflation data still hot. But guys, we had yield rates over 4%, and that's what dropped stocks and cryptos you could clearly see it those who was watching it this morning it was like clockwork so the fact is as yields were being pushed down we saw stocks and cryptos making its way back up guys it's all manipulated if we see that 10-year yield go four percent then we know we'll be moving right back down and stocks moving down but guys make sure you're paying attention to the actual indicators of course yield rates and, of course, the dollar, volume, tether, USDC. And then, of course, guys, we have the Fed. Repo still over $2 trillion. We know with this inflation data, they're not taking their foot off the gas when it comes to these interest rates. Remember the go, guys. Do not take your eyes off the go. The go is the fourth industrial revolution. All the acts the central banks are doing doesn't make any sense whatsoever Unless you understand they want to destroy this legacy market in order to bring us into the fourth industrial revolution. And you're not going to hear that from any media, no billionaires, no fund managers. They know the truth. That's the reason why they only give you half the truth. They know where this is going. The robots, algorithms, and drones take over the economy, pay each other with crypto, and the sheep go inside the metaverse. And I told you guys, 
the sheet will be working inside the metaverse. And we had Facebook and Microsoft team up to bring the work environment to the actual metaverse. I did a video on that last night. Please go check it out on the actual stock channel. It is very important, guys. The fourth industrial revolution is moving fast. Those who are in my Patreon, we know how fast it's moving. But the sheep stay distracted. And then we had the IMF warn central banks to hoard reserves. Don't try to save your currency. And guys, we know the NWO causes the problem. Wait for the reaction and run in with the solution. They locked the whole globe down. Printed all this money. 20% of all money in existence in one year. And then kept passing bills to print more money. And we know it was all for the fourth industrial revolution. And I don't care whether you sleep. Have no conscience whatsoever. You now can put the pieces of the puzzle together. Only thing I have to do is start from the beginning to where we're at right now. And you can clearly see it was all orchestrated. Part of a bigger plan. And like I told you, as the legacy market is being destroyed, we're going to slowly see the fourth industrial revolution rise. 2023 and 2024, we're going to see mass layoffs. But at the same time, we're going to see the automation take over. And then also they'll have that carrot, that universal basic income, that free money to drop as they get the reaction from the people. Problem, reaction, solution. They already have the solution. The robots, algorithms, and drones, and cryptocurrency, that free money. But what the people don't understand, they'll have three to six months to spend it or poof, it's gone. And they'll be able to tell you what, when, when, and how to buy. But guys, don't forget about Grayscale moved up slightly. Make sure you're paying attention to the actual allocations. And we know that movie is about to start as the Ripple case start to wind down. But getting over into a little crypto news, we have the Hobie token surge, as we know they're back in the hands of China. Also, we have Binance Exchange burns $547 million worth of BNB tokens. Now, we have Ripple's Brad Garlinghouse says the SEC case should end before Q2 of next year. And you guys know I did a video a while ago giving you the same time frame. Now we have Polygon Powers India Police Complaint Portal battling corruption. And we had the IMF praising India about all the automation that they have in the country. Now we have BitMEX adds 14 tokens as it moves beyond derivatives trading. Also, we have Uniswap Labs valued at $1.66 billion after $165 million Series B funding round. And lastly, we have the Bank of China's digital yuan transactions volume cross $14 billion mark. And as this article state, they're still in pilot. And if you go through all the papers, the Chinese papers about the digital yuan, it said 2023 to 2024 when it goes live. But guys, we know that digital yuan is already live. It's already ready to go. But remember, the NWO moves in phases. Now that the Republicans are about to take back over, they're going to be tough on China. And we know how the Hegelian dialectic works. We're going to be running into an energy crisis, a currency crisis. And you never let a crisis go to waste because you can do things that you never would have been able to do. We are looking at order out of chaos. And remember the crypto teacher told you because he knows when it comes to the New World Order, it's all planned out. But guys, all I have for you, don't forget about the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order book, plus the three kids' books, it's time to re-educate. Also, new to cryptos, Coinbase, Bitchu, Binance, and I forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The Stock Channel. Guys, make sure you go like, subscribe, spread everywhere. You have your Kobo, your chip stocks, your banking, your gaming, while everybody's sitting at home, get home stocks to see where the biotech stocks, and while everybody's at home wishing they were still getting that free money, what are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks, and you have a wonderful day. Powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come. Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, 
They're the storyteller. And that's the reason why I wrote my new road order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids books. You know, I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate, not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis. Whether it's your job, whether it's in your community, we have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share, but this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figure. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends. So therefore, we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video. Part one. King Joshua and Grandma Tim save the village. Part two. King Joshua and Grandma Tim save New York. On COVID-33. Part three. King Joshua and Grandma Tim goes to China. It's mandatory to get part one, part two, and part three of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.